And good evening, League of Excellent and Extraordinary Negroes here today to talk about Andor Season 1. I am Jade in an undisclosed location. Mm. What? <laughs> undisclosed? <laughs> Why did a spy? Oh, I'm Mick, by the way. See, if Marcus would have been here, it would have been just me and Jay, and I would have turned it up because it would have been me. This is Maybe. you on low? <laughs> <laughs> this is me on medium. I'm on medium. Uh -huh. oh. Okay. Oh. So I'm, I'm Mick. Yes. I'm Mick, though. I'm Mick. All and right. how are we this evening? We are good. Wonderful. Before the snowstorm we gonna have here while you're gonna be oh, in no. sunny Miami. What? Okay, look, there is one inch of snow forecast, and as this is Nebraska, you now need to prepare for zero to six inches of snow. Yes. So. <laughs> zero to six sounds good. Zero to one probably. Would be better, but that the Yeah. You know, folks gonna be crazy though. You know, it's you gonna never be know. Crazy folk did, out there. did you get bread? Yes, we have stuff. We have stuff because that's the first. Oh yes. to go off the shelves. We have well, stuff. What's up, Tony? To what you up to next? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> you have croissants. Oh my god. Um. So good evening, Tony. Good to see you in the chat. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so let's get to it. We're talking about Andor. <clears throat> yes, <clears throat> season one. Um, question of the day. Ooh, three words to describe Andor. Is it me first? Sure. Grown folk music. <laughs> uh, okay. I I'm not sure. I did a whole phrase of poetry there. Um. That that really applies. It does. It's grown folk <laughs> music. It was just all grown folk music. That's all it was. Okay. I'm also not gonna be able to top that. I'm gonna go with surprising, um, different, and just brave. I I very much mm. enjoyed this take on Star Wars. Yes. I'm going to go with refreshing, delicious. Oh dang! What? And mm, that's two words, but well written. It, it was it well, a crafted was well story. Yeah, it was well written all the way. Oh God, it was so well written. And so and many lines and takeaways. Oh, it was just had really beautiful. Three really more beautiful. words. They're one way out. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's so many like out. catchphrases. There's so many out. things that you can just repeat. Uh, okay, we're going to get to it. Okay. Yes. So Andor, if you are unfamiliar with what Andor is, it is the prequel to Star Wars Rogue One. In an era filled with danger, deception, and intrigue, Cassian will embark on the path that is destined to turn him into a rebel hero. And Dan. It, is, it um, <laughs> If you've seen Rogue One, then you know. Spoiler alert. Fate. You know what happens. But, you know what happened. But we don't know how he got there. So that's what this show is telling us, how he got to that point. It is written by uh, Tony Gilroy. And he is the writer of Rogue One. Mm -hmm. But he's also done some other things that now that I know make absolute sense. He did um, The Born Legacy Oh, okay. Michael Clayton, yeah. Born Ultimatum, Born Identity, uh, The Devil's Advocate, Dolores Claiborne. Mm. Yeah, those and are three of the things that he's written. And it audience. makes sense. <laughs> the only one of those I've seen is Michael Clayton. <laughs> I've seen all the Born. I've seen every one of the Born. I have not seen any of those. Oh. I've seen all yes. the Born. They just I missed guess. me. What can I tell you? Um, okay, Tony has his three words. Year's best poly thriller. Hmm. Okay, I guess that's three. Okay. I will take it. 
I'll take it too. It is. It is. It's, 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 I mean, just wow. I did not know that Star Wars was going to finally come out with something so, so just amazing. It, it just, man, it just, hey. Okay. So before we get into it, because we're going to go through characters and themes. Okay. Um, so <clears throat> we have Diego Luna, it's Cassie and Andor, and uh, Stellan Skarsgård as Luthen <laughs> Rayo. Oh my God, he's so good in this. He's good. He's good. He's great. They gave him um, a lot to work with, and he, he, he used all of it. He's good. Uh, Kyle that O'Reilly, that Genevieve O'Reilly as Mon Martha, she was kicking it. Oh, she is a good Mon Martha. She was kicking everyone, it. Everyone is good. Yeah, everyone was um, good. Also, and I can't see her first name, but Marseille, she, pl she plays Vel. Um, and she does run in this, and it reminded me of her running in Game of Thrones. Um, she does a Terminator run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, let me tell you, uh, they didn't have a test. They didn't have Saw. What was our boy Saw? I, I'm. I just took the top cast. He he's okay. in there. We know he's in there. Oh we, yeah, we, yeah. We will. Oh yeah. Um, so the show starts with Cass. Do we want to start with Cassian? That's cool. You have to. It's it's a show. To. It's okay. the whole name. All right. So Cassian Andor in Rogue One. What is his character like? I don't Determ exactly remember. He was determined. He was a spy. He was a uh, he was a, a, a excellent spy, but you know he was just determined and aggressive. That's all. Because I mean, in the first few scenes, he's killing one of his own guys. You know, he's shooting one of his own spies. You know, so I'm like, dang. So yeah, and cold blooded too. He was cold blooded. And how does he begin in this series? Dumb, uh, self focused, truly. He's he's watching out for number one. Yeah, the larger world is its own problem. Yeah, something he has to deal with, but not something he's actively trying to change at this point. Mm -hmm. We do get a lot of his backstory, and I like the way that they interspersed his backstory yeah. into this story. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. Boba Fett like? No. No. And a lot of people said that this was done better than Boba Fett and Boba Fett should have been like this. You know, so. <laughs> you don't know what you want until somebody puts it out there. <laughs> yeah. And like, I didn't I like know Boba Star Wars I was it. willing or able to do this. I mean, I, right. I appreciated Boba Fett for what it was, but that was yeah. when I thought Star Wars was this big. Now it's Star Wars is this big, and I'm very happy for it. Right. So the one thing that we don't learn ever, really, is what happened to his sister. Yeah. We, oh, I mean, no, no. She didn't make it. People have on. suspected, you know. Come on. But well, well, his mother said that she that. didn't make it. Yeah, stop, yeah. The mother said, stop looking for it. Just stop. Right. You know. Um, we learned about the, his parents and how they yeah. became his parents. Yeah. And how he and his sister, um, you know, what happened to them early in his life mm -hmm. that shaped the way that he saw the world and people. Mm -hmm. um, I like the introduction of his mother mm -hmm. and the fact that that's his, for all intents and purposes, that's his mother. Yes, yes. And he loved her, and he kept going back when he shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. But I like that mother. She was for real. <laughs> she was for real. Yes. She was for real. Okay. So Andor, man, he goes through so many phases Ugh. in this series. Um, in the very beginning, we, we learn... So you mentioned that he killed one of his own men in Rogue One. Yes. Well, he... <laughs> well, see, those two fools in that, <laughs> that bra should have shut their mouth because they set forth a whole bunch of mess for the whole universe. They could have just set their little butts down and not said nothing. But see, they want, <laughs> but see, we know people like them, though. 
We know we're about like, yeah. Act One, Scene Number Two. Basically, he's taking out some cops and then uh, having to go on the run. Yeah, they should have shut sure. up. They didn't shut up. They didn't shut they, up. He they wasn't found, trying. To they kill found them. out. They, they found, found out. Quick. Yeah, they found <laughs> out. They found out quick. Right. Um, and he is on the run. And he goes yeah. back home. <sighs> now everything would have been cool. And they would have just blew over, said, okay, this, but then here come Mr. Wannabe, Mr. Captain of, you know, everything. <laughs> well, I need to find um, out what happened. Yes, him. Yes. That, <laughs> that whole okay. thing was so oh, great. Because his y'all boss so told him know. exactly what was up. I'm like, oh, yeah, those guys shouldn't have been over there. They found out too much. And you know what? Let's just... Chalk it right. up to something happened. Who knows? It's an accident. Just make this disappear. Yeah, right, this right. Disappear. That's what his captain said. He said, you know, they were in the wrong place, wrong time. They were probably doing something they just shouldn't have been doing. Yeah. Move on. And that's no. literally what happened. <laughs> but no. I, I was watching that with my brother. We had to pause and we laughed for like two straight minutes before we could continue. Like, that guy's absolutely correct. <laughs> and that is not what's going to happen. He just no. had to go find out. But also, Cyril. <laughs> Cyril Karn. Ooh, I hate that boy. So, I hate him. Why did he die? Why didn't you die? Why didn't you he die? He can't die. Well, we have to find He's out too what fascist happens to, die. to him because he is obsessed with Cassie and Andor. And well, you know, that, that, you know who is he going to be? Because he didn't survive. Well, maybe he did survive through, you know, the, you know, through, through the Civil War. We don't know, but I know he's going to end up in the Empire somewhere. You know, he's going to end up in the Empire. There's yeah. lots and lots and lots of positions in the Empire. You just find your way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's going to find his way. One thing that I do love about his story is his mother. Oh, that mama crazy, y'all. That mama. Crazy. <laughs> that mama Say, will you just go to your uncle? Your uncle got you a job. What is your problem? Yeah. Yeah. You already lost one job. Like your uncle got a job. He goes home and she sees him and she slaps him and then she hugs him. Yeah. That's all you need to know about that relationship (laughs) right there. Like, okay. And then he just drink, he just eats cereal all the time. What what, is Ali eating the cereal? What's up? With the blue milk. With the blue milk, the famous blue milk. Yeah, that requires no thought. That's why you do it. Mm. Mm-hmm. You, you get the calories, don't have to cook. It's one less decision in your day. Mm. I understand that character. And then Mama looking at his stuff. <laughs> Mama looking at his stuff, y'all. He said, Ma, I know you're looking at my stuff. Like, what is what? in your stuff, bro? Well, she still treats him like he's, you know, a teenager. He's stupid. Do you see he still got toys in his room? Well, the I mean, man fancies him. I'm gonna just abstain from answering that one. <laughs> well, yeah, I might, I might need you too. You know, I might. <laughs> I might need man. to abstain from that too. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. Because <laughs> when I put certain games out, Starla said, well, "Oh, you're with your toys again, huh?" I'm like, oh, "Okay." <laughs> Tony wants to know how did y'all like the brother selling Cassian out? Which one? Hey. Oh no! It, it was, it was the brother, you know, at the end. At the end, where it was. Oh, he got killed. He got blew up in the face. Yeah, yeah I didn't like that either. Yeah. But see, he was all shady anyway because he had to. Yeah. he was shady. That guy, anyway. was, yeah. that guy was out for number one as well, and he just has yeah. not evolved to realize who his real enemy is. So. Yeah, he was well, he was he's... shady from the get go because he, he got shaking him down for some money, you know, that he said he, that he owed him. <laughs> but the Empire beginning. showed him straight up. The Empire but showed like, him. He's not a man that understands very much. He brought an enforcer who was more loyal to Cassian than he was to him when he tried to collect the money the first time. Right, right. She was like, you working for him? (laughs) You just told me to stand here. He said, well, what am I doing? I'm just here. He wasn't smart. smart. That was funny. He's he's just not a smart guy. So Cassian has to leave. Yes. He has to leave town. um, And he is introduced to... Is it Vel? No, Luthen. 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 Okay, so this is Luthen with the wig. <laughs> yeah, with the wig and the smile. The wig and the smile, y'all. Oh, smile. 
the smile is so too much. The, the wig is yeah, the smile. Done. But y'all, let me been... just tell y'all something. That ship of his, Lord Jesus. <laughs> I said it had lightsabers. No, it does Nick not. told me that but it doesn't have lightsabers. I, I don't that care. Ship in, in they my were game, red out of and they went fling. No. And I said they were lightsabers. They're I'm not lightsabers. No, they're not lightsabers. No. I that ship is just the Swiss Army knife of death. Yes. I just... need that in my outer rim game <laughs> immediately. Right now. Right now. You just write some rules. You got it. Well, well Marcus, help me. I need some no. rules. <laughs> <laughs> So Luthen introduces Cassian to a crew of people that he's Whoa. going to work with. And they have they have a, a mission that they're going on. Then there's yes. a lot of money at the end of it, but also a message to the Empire. And he he learns some things about himself in working with these people, I think. Because mm -hmm. this guy, who I don't remember his name, is, seems to have a really, a really impactful relationship on him with him. Yeah, and he carries. Does he carry his manifesto with him? Yes, he does. The rest of the series. Yes, and he and he, we we heard it at the end. You know, at the end of the series, we heard it, and I mean, this mm. guy basically talks about. You know the the tyranny that the empire was trying to hold, and like you said, it, it can't hold. You know that tyranny because it's not natural. You know the the rule they're trying to do. You know the evil rule is not natural, so it's against the natural order. But I was like, man, this was this show was deep, man. It was deep. This they was studied deep. actual revolutions to write it, this, and yeah, I it just felt grounded the whole way through. Mm -hmm. But it, it's so amazing that this this one action that they were gonna do sparked almost, you know, the empire to like, wait a minute, we gotta take these fools serious. They they really trying to do some stuff. So I mean, it it was amazing. It was it was amazing. Well, that that guy and his manifesto, it didn't. It's almost as though it introduced Cassian to another way of seeing what was happening. Yes, in the world. But it's not something that that really worked out in him yeah. for a long time. It took True. him to go through some things and go through some steps Woo! before he Giddy really though. realized, okay, I really got to do something. <laughs> but you know, it but didn't you know, happen overnight. And I yeah, appreciate Jade, that yeah, it didn't but, happen overnight. But you know, Jade, his mama knew. His mama knew. Oh, absolutely. No, she'd been there. She'd been, she yeah, been down probably, the whole time. Yes, yes. Because I think she was she was down for the cause for from the beginning. Um, it just took him some time to to figure out this is what the world, this is what I need to do to help the world. And there were lots of black men. Yes, it was. Yeah. I only have only have that guy. I, I hate he died, y'all. I hate he died. That's kind of the point of the show, though. You're gonna have everybody dies. <laughs> you're gonna have a thousand people die before you make a dent. <laughs> yeah, but he was good, though. He was good. He was good. He was only good after he realized what was going on, and he's like, "Y'all ain't no help to me." Yeah. <laughs> Why am I doing this? One of my favorite moments. So Vel. So we see her as a rebel. She's down for the cause. And people were trying to figure yeah. out who she was and who she was related to. And maybe she was Luthen's daughter or something. No, nope. she's Mon Mothma's cousin. Yes. <laughs> little rich, little rich girl. Little rich girl. Little rich girl. Now, now Tony got something saying, was it weird to have black folk in the empire? No. I mean, it, black folk were in the empire. I mean, it was everybody. You know, that's I appreciated them doing that. I really appreciated that. I, I will say that, yeah. They, oh, made, they made characters out of the Empire. Every Star Wars thing I've seen up to this point, the Empire has been faceless goons. Yes. Just not not even it's like, do you do you believe in what you're doing? Why are you doing this? There's nothing you could say to me that they'd be fire on 50 innocent people. 
It's like, where, how are you this way? And this is right. the first show I've seen that's yeah. tried to answer any of that. True. I'm mm-hmm. just happy that for one, one time they showed the stormtroopers as an effective military force. The first time. You mean you mean those ones? Oof. No, no, no. Death troopers have always been effective. Death troopers, are effective. <laughs> Death, Death troopers have always been effective. I'm talking about the the ones in the uh, you know the bucket heads. You know the stormtroopers. Mm-hmm. They were effective. They were a fighting machine. Yeah. And I'm like, They're oh my good. god, this guy really knew. He, he finally brought out what the comics and the novels was always saying. He brought it out. He brought it out. Yeah, there was never... They never had to face a Jedi or anybody Force-sensitive. No. Yeah. They're no. just like dealing with the problem in front of them right. and relying on superior numbers right. and superior yeah. firepower. And, it and there were no Jedi that we Thank know. God. Thank God. <laughs> no in this show. But there was one Saw That's my man! <laughs> Love that man. Up, he shows up a couple of times. Was he in three scenes? He was about three scenes, yeah. He might get an Oscar nomination for three scenes. I'm so upset. <laughs> Not but Oscar he was good. I mean, TV, so he, Emmy. <laughs> he was, he yeah. was the rebel cause. He was the rebel cause. Totally. Actually, Who's not getting an Emmy nomination out of this? Because like everybody was just if, doing it. I mean, if if Stellan, Stellan Skarsgård, Skarsgård doesn't get doesn't get a nomination, Emmy, yeah. yeah, they can just throw the whole wrong. thing away. But 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 Saw <laughs> needs it too, though. I mean, he needs it too. Yeah, but then they're going against each other because there's that would be like uh, a supporting role or a guest star role. I don't Emmy know, but and and you know who else needs an Emmy? <laughs> who? Oh God, yeah. <laughs> God, That's the God yeah. problem. That's the problem. It's like yes. Woo! So they appeared in three episodes each, and if you got to give one to either, <laughs> um, I think Saw 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 has been around. <laughs> He's been in the lore, and he basically the last words he said, you know, because Homeboy said, you know, call it whatever you want, and the last words he said, call it war, and that's what yeah. it was. It was the- war. This put the war in Star Wars wars. Messy put the wars, war in Star ugly wars. wars. Yeah. It's, so it's planned, but the plan is just step one. It's going off the rails just as soon as possible. Yeah. So you have Saw, who is at the far end far of end. the spectrum. The the people that are on the side of the rebel cause don't even really want to work with him because he'll just be crazy. <laughs> He's an extreme terrorist. He's an extreme he terrorist. Was, He's way over there. Ever. He has the, methods. And the Jedi problems. don't even want to deal with him. They don't even want to deal then, with him. So, so give me a breakdown real quick of what you thought about um, what oh, I can't even think of his real name now. What Forrest he did Whitaker. with that character, yes, Forrest Whitaker. What he did with Ooh. that character. Now, see, Forrest Whitaker, he was—he's been that character since you know Rebels and even the Clone Wars, Oof. and you can see the growth of him. And 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 you know, Rogue One showed when he was at his extreme. We had the opportunity to see him like in the middle where he was becoming kind of crazy, but he still had you know some thoughts of like, hey, I'm gonna try to work with these folk a little bit, but I still think they all st- they all sorry. But I mean, what he did, I mean, it just it was amazing. I mean, it was just amazing. Okay, now <clears throat> Stellan Skarsgård. Mm. Oh man, mm. and Luthen. Oh, yes, man. like the scene the first time he goes to talk to Saw. Yeah, and they they just eat the scenery together. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful scene. I think we had to rewind it and watch it again. <laughs> but that like, second time when he pulled a gun on him, I was like, "Oh, I was like, this is crazy, y'all. Like, this, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> this is, it, it's going out. The, it's gone now. This this show gone now. It's gone." I always love a character you can pull a gun on and they're just completely unfazed. Like, all right, yeah. we'll just continue the conversation with a gun. I don't care. <laughs> but is Luthen crazier than Saw? Yes, yes, he is. yes, he is. <laughs> He's because when Luther kept saying, 
you know, he needed the empire to be even harder and even meaner to get people to, to rise up. And then he sacrificed 30 men, a whole squad, to, to even get the empire just, you know, on the lack side. I'm like, this dude is nuts, but brilliant. Nuts, but brilliant. So, I mean, he was he was driving the revolution. He was driving it. And he was one man doing what a team of people on the Empire side was doing in a whole conference room with water and drinks and light. <laughs> and, 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 you know, going, one guy going to sleep on him saying, I'm listening, you know. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> it's like, that. that is such a thing. It's like, this guy is supporting fascism, but he's yeah. doing it in the laziest way possible <laughs> at the what? highest level. You're like, oh, man, they have enough people, they can have a guy like that. Yeah. That's terrifying. But the opportunity to see the ISB in action mm -hmm. was just like, oh my god! It, it, it was just, I was just reading a novel. That was a novel I was reading. I was like, oh my, uh, come on! We actually see the, in, in, you know, the ISB in action. Wow, that was cool. When you that think cool. about the organizational structure it would take to tax multiple worlds and build a Death Star. Yeah, yeah, you need something like the ISB and like yes, the Empire. Do. That just stuff hasn't been shown. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. honestly, it makes for some of the... I mean, you couldn't do that in a movie. No one's going to sit down and watch the ISB talk to each other for half an hour. You don't have the time. But yeah. TV gives them time to develop characters now, and stories. It's in the novels, though. They do have it in the novels. It, it has yeah. been written. Ink is free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They do have it in the you can, you can read at your leisure. <laughs> you can um, read as much as you like. The the thing that I I love Luthen for is when the informant who works for the ISB is asking him, "What have you sacrificed?" Yes, and when he's trying to quit. Long, woo, woo. <laughs> I mean, he could have just said, "I've sacrificed everything." No, he Ooh, broke no, no, no. it down he's like i have sacrificed calm i have sacrificed peace of mind i yes. have sacrificed love I, I mean and and just went on and on and on, and on. that's black and folk y'all he just makes it that's black folk right there that's black folk it was amazing but yes, that monologue was. was like <laughs> yes it was. Like, i don't think about anything but this i don't yes. do anything but this i'm not going to get to see the end of this <laughs> no one's going to thank me for it. If people knew what I did, they'd hate me for it. Yes. So, you know, you get to have your wife and your kid, and you've worked for me. I just killed 30 men so you can keep that position. We need you there. Whew. Don't don't call was, my number. <laughs> it was it was <laughs> Don't let my it. name escape your lips again. <laughs> and get back to work. That, that's <laughs> the scene that he should get an Emmy nomination for. Yes. It is, but it's it, it's tough because there's so many scenes like that in this show where you're just like, okay. I've been given a treat. So <laughs> I, I had to turn I... around. To, you know, Grant's only 18 years old. I had to turn around and say, do you understand what these people are talking about, boy? <laughs> do you understand? They be break yourself down to you. Before I go this. to my absolute favorite part of Andor, I'm going to go back to um, on mm. Mothma. Yes. And the changes that she goes through. Now, mm. she has some money problems. Why does she yeah. have money problems? She gives it to the rebels. Well, that, but the rebels stole a bunch of money. So then the Empire is like, well, let's lock down all the accounts. Let's go. Yeah, take, let's look at everything. Where, how did they do this? They couldn't have done this for free. Somebody knows something. <laughs> Find me. What well, Find out how Aldani happened. <laughs> But you know, there's an ISB agent, you know, watching her. Well, informant is All watching her, and she knows that. She knows it's it. the Empire. Right. You got to assume right. many people are watching you if you're a yeah. senator. But what about the the conversations Ooh. between Luth, uh, Luthen and his assistant in that uh, in that shop? That was boy. That's some stuff in there, boy. Every that one scene when they were talking, they were talking shop. <laughs> And they were talking like somebody was listening. I said, y'all, mm -hmm. come on, who writing this stuff? It's just crazy. <laughs> Tony Gilroy is writing it. Woo! It's exceptionally well done. Everybody talks like they're in a spy thriller, and basically they right. are. They right. are. They are. Okay. Now, this, when Cassian goes to jail, 
and goes to jail for something he didn't do. Now he <laughs> that was the, he deserved he was to get caught. This is amazing. But the for, empire was actively looking for him, and they were he was in their jail. He was in the, he was in that <laughs> in that company. He was in their jail, but he got picked up for doing nothing. 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 But but you know the the story you know the the empire's troops they don't care, you know homeboy <laughs> said you know like what you doing man what you running for, what you running? I mean it's clear they got the directive warm bodies as many as you can get put them to work we had stuff to do, we have something to build, yes, and we can't afford to mm-hmm. disclose or pay people for it so just uh, get me some yes. just mm-hmm. get me every able bodied man you could pick up off the street, we got oh. something really big to build. So we need something built and we don't have money to pay people. So we're going to put them in prison and make them work to build this thing and not let them go. Sounds oddly familiar. Yes, it does, don't it? (laughs) I mean, yes, it does. They they clearly could pay them. They just don't want to. It's cheaper not to. Why would you? They took out a whole civilization (laughs) behind that dang ball. Yeah, a whole civilization. Mm -hmm. But Andy Serkis's character. Woo! Woo! (laughs) So the is it a three episode arc? I think so. Yeah, it was three. It was three. I think he was in three episodes. I. I have to say, I watched those. So I watch. So the first, whatever that episode was, where he went to jail, and we mean Andy Serkis's character. Yeah, saw that, and then the next episode came out, <clears throat> and I went back and I watched the first one again when the second one came out. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then the third one came out, and I went back and watched the first one again <laughs> and the second one. And then the third one, and I think I've watched that series of episodes. Maybe two or three more times. Whoa, okay. Because those those three episodes are just so beautifully done to see mm-hmm. Andy Serkis's character have a job, be very clear about what his role is, what everybody's role is, and we're just gonna work and then we're gonna get out of here and we're just gonna do our time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're gonna do what they tell us to do. And it doesn't matter what anybody else is telling him. Nope, we just do what he, I say. He kept his faith in the system. The system's going to work for him. You you toe the line. You do what they say. It's all nope. going to work out. System's not going to work that way, bro. Until that man died, and he had only what forty some odd days left. Never mm-hmm. more than twelve at a time. And they threw him out like a <laughs> bag. Said, How many guards? And he was like, never more than twelve at a time. Like, oh my god. <laughs> when he said that, like, oh, we are now. Oh. But you know, it was he like screamed, you know, the screen like Mick. <laughs> but see, see Andor, I mean, but you know, Cassian told him, he said they're not listening. He kept trying to, he said, they're not listening. Yeah. Why are you being inside? They're not listening. Because earlier Cassian told uh, Luthen, he said, the Empire, they are they're arrogant. They they think that mm-hmm. nobody can mess with them. So they, you know, they don't care. You know, they think they are so big and so bad. That you know, who cares? They're so, not. I mean, he wrong. kept trying to tell him that the empire is crazy. You know, they're not they're the empire is huge, huge. Just and imagine said, going up against the empire. They're not listening. Look at the not force all. they sent to Ferrix. Ferrix is a backwater nothing, and they put that many people there. Yes, they did. And then he said, "They have know, that kind said, of power at their disposal." And he said, "You know, why are you so worried?" He said, "They killed two hundred people." To keep their mouths closed. What is your problem, fool? Oh, 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 the good line though. He said, What do you call that? And he said, Power. He said, Power doesn't panic. Yeah. <laughs> he said, Panic. <laughs> they do panic. Power <laughs> panic. <doesn't> panic. <sighs> oh, it was, so it was very good. Uh, oh, he very said, good. 200 <laughs> people. They killed 200 people. They killed 200 men. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to ask everyone that's in the chat to to shout out your favorite part of Andor. Um, I'm going to highlight this one. Tony says that uh, Andor, Tony Gilroy said that Andor is the Haitian Revolution, Palestine, etc. in a deadline interview. 
Yeah, I, I'd heard something about that. I haven't read the interview, but I, I should look for it. I need to look for that. It's I clear. Influence. It's clear yeah. they studied mm-hmm. how Maybe. revolutions work. Mm-hmm. It's like a proletariat uprising is very rare. <laughs> and I mean, you never you cannot this. do it. In no Star Wars, you never saw none of this. You you heard you saw it in the novels. You did see that, but I mean, on screen, you never saw this, man. I mean, you just saw you know little. Da, 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 foo, foo, foo. You, that's all you would see. But in this one, this was straight up for real here. This is for real. My, my my biggest beef with Star Wars is it's been so focused on the Skywalkers and these events that like it implies there's a larger rebellion and there's a larger empire but you don't yeah. see that you just see right. the empire getting mowed down by the best warriors we possibly have anyway, yes okay. <laughs> cool yeah. <laughs> it's like and then the actual rebels they get blown up and they spin around and do explosions and then he's like but okay um, how did they get there? What happened to them? That's true. Right. When did they Rogue... decide the empire is too much? Yeah. And Rogue One came close. Rogue, Rogue One. Rogue came One close. was by far came the closest, and yeah, then this mm-hmm. this is on another level. Oh, this <laughs> blew it out the water. This, I this didn't know the, this was. Yeah. This brought the novels home, baby. This brought the novels home. No, I did. I okay. not know this was possible. I didn't know Disney would allow it on their platform. Yes. Oh. Yes. They did. They, they, no, they no, not only on the platform. They're putting it out on regular TV now. What? It's on. It's on ABC. It's on ABC regular. What? what? Yes, the first two episodes was on this uh, this last week on regular TV. Oh wow! That. Are you? Yes. Was that in the United States? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I yes. missed it. Were they just trying to get people to buy Disney Plus subscriptions? Because they ain't going to No, oh, they said it's going to come on every no. week. The oh, regular really? show. Yes. You mean tell me I could have saved $80? Oh. No. <laughs> yes, got it. It's on ABC yeah, Sunday night. Yes. Wow. 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 The first I, one, the first They Disney want people Plus. to really watch this. I'm one. sorry. The first episode where Cassian kills two cops in a back alley. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> yes, in the first ten old. minutes, mm-hmm. it's on Listen. ABC. Yeah, well, Listen. it's so different than any other Star Wars property. It's yeah, you... so different, and it's it is like the born supremacy. I mean, I yeah. can when I realized that that's that that was the writer's background. It's like okay, that's why it feels different. It feels grounded in reality. Yeah. It, I mean, there's that, and I think it's like some of the camera choices they're making. It they, it looks like they tried to use real sets as mm-hmm. much as possible. They did. They, they were did. just doing like mm-hmm. background paintouts. But when they had the illusion of sex in a Star Wars show, I said, "Wait a minute!" <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> I was like, "What?" Yeah. And then Homeboy, and then on one of the scenes where they were getting ready to attack, you know, the bank, you know, Homeboy, this soldier turned around and he started peeing. I'm like, "What?" Disney, what are you? What <laughs> I said in a Star Wars show? I'm like, I'm done, yeah. y'all. This is it right here. Yeah. This is it. This is it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna come to Mick and Marcus. Your favorite moment in the series? Hmm. Who you gonna come to me first? Yeah, probably. Yes, I gotta think about everything, it. everything <laughs> in the series. <laughs> Every one of them, yes, everything, everything. Oh. I can't pin down one. I cannot pin down one. Everything was amazing, but the I can say the one amazing thing was Mama's speech for her funeral. Oh mm. yeah, the speech for the funeral that was epic because even Luther had to turn around and say, "Wait a minute, that that, <laughs> that that's for real." You know, that's for real. I mean, everybody. She said, she said, you know, we sleeping, y'all. We sleeping. Y'all need to wake up. Mm-hmm. This empire, we, we need to, we need to, we need to t- take them down. <laughs> she was kind of talking in code at first, and then she just got very explicit towards the right, 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 said, right. If the empire is letting me keep this going, I'm going to just going to keep going. <laughs> yeah. Kill the empire. 
Take just, them just out. Do it five. now. <laughs> okay. I, ooh, Marcus. Favorite. It's tough because, like, how long does a moment last? Luther's oh. whole speech to the, the guy who's trying to quit is like, yeah, you can't quit on me. That was good. But for, like, one moment, never more than 12 at a time was just, like, stand on yeah. top of the furniture cheering yeah. moment. Like, thank yeah. you. Finally, dude, seriously. <laughs> do, so- do something. <laughs> and then that just that just sets you up, like, next week is going to be nuts. I cannot wait to see next week yeah. with never more than 12 at a time. Uh, Tony said one way out. Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, that's a whole episode. <laughs> Hey y'all, but wasn't yeah. it funny when when the prisoners were running around and the and the imperial uh you know security people were in there just they were scared. hiding. They were like, like mm-hmm, they're hiding. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, said, uh-huh. Yeah, y'all they can do math. It's very right. easy math. <laughs> like, yeah. like Crystal, tyranny requires constant effort. Yes, that it does. We can see that. We can see that every day. Mm. Oh man. It just it was we never not that good. Every day. It was I think constantly I tense. Mine was the, the prison sequence, like that whole three episode arc. I just I just love that the Empire is so big and unwieldy they couldn't find a person they already had locked up. <laughs> <laughs> it just gave oh. a false name and that was enough. <laughs> that was Y'all great. got pictures? You got holographic guess, scans guess, of the man, you can't find him. The the line, the line was I would rather die bringing them down than die giving them what they want. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. His whole, Kino's whole so speech on the intercom where he just kind of goes from, uh, hi, everybody, I, I work here. Right. He's like, <laughs> Is that the best you can do? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I thought. I thought you became a revolutionary last night. Are you are you are you busy yeah. now? <laughs> we have the room. Say what you need to say. <laughs> okay. Yeah. One. I can't use three. Well, that's well, I said mm-hmm. that, yeah, that's my one. Three episodes is one. Yeah, I said everything. <laughs> I said everything. <laughs> yes, he said Rick, the whole Rick series. I said, I said the whole series. <laughs> no, I think that was that was my line. Um I'm, I would rather die bringing hey, let me down tell you, than to give it. I, I like this. The, the robot the robot that they had, I like him better than any robot in Star Wars. Well, oh, you I love mean, B2 was, Emo. Oh, yeah, man. They, he, was just, he was just so, you know, I, you know, he missed his mama and, I mean, missed Cassian. I mean, it just, that, that little robot, I like him. You know, because you got a Steve lot of Dio emotion for a little robot. The, you know, R2-D2 and good all this. R2-D2 is like a superstar. I mean, he just super warrior, you know, so. Uh-huh. You know. So yeah, this was this was believable. That was believable. Uh, Tony made a comment about the discussion of prejudice from Saw. Well, well, you know, Saw said that that all the other groups were stupid. You know, he said they all stupid. And then, then when you heard what they said, like the anti-alien sentiment and human, I mean, yeah, it was crazy. And all the groups he mentioned, you're like, really? They got cultists? Really? Cultists is out there? So I mean, the only thing they have in common is they're anti-government. That doesn't mean yes. they get along with each other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's that's the problem. If the rebellion is going to succeed, they have to organize. Yeah. Because the Empire, they the Empire is a lot of things. Organize is the top thing that they are. They, they right. <laughs> organized and well-funded. Class and they organize. Divide and conquer. Easy. And exploit the differences. But you know, it was it was weird that you only Jimmy Smith's character, I mean Bell Organa, you know they were talking about him a little bit. Martin Martha said, you know, c- certain people know what I'm doing. And I guess to assume he was one of them. She said it's one person that know what kind of what I'm doing. I guess that was him. So mm-hmm. you know, it was cool how he was out there, but they didn't say his name. So that, that was really cool. So uh Tony asked, who's gonna start this again? who's already started it again. <laughs> and uh, Rhonda said that she's already started it again. And I've started it again, like, twice since the finale. Um, I have so much television. It, 
It's, I have so much. Stuff. I mean, I know it and I loved it. I know my Star Wars. I've been a fan since 1977 when it started on the screen. So I know it. I love it. So I just I can move on and just I, know it. Yeah. I don't know I'm that not I can move done on. Yet. I'm not, I, I'm not I, done I, yet. I will probably watch it again, but I might have to watch Rogue One just to like remember oh, where yeah. this is going. Well, I know Rogue One. Oh, Rogue oh. One. <laughs> or watch it or watch it and then watch Rogue One. Yeah. But yeah, maybe. But like I've been watching Wednesday on Netflix, so <laughs> <laughs> I've not been watching oh, Wednesday on Netflix. It is but, odd um, and fun. Yeah. Okay. I might have to download that I wanna, or something. I'm gonna see Wednesday. I definitely gonna see that. But it, but this, it is this, this show was this show was amazing. I mean it just it was amazing. This was the this is the, the Star Wars we needed. We didn't know we needed it, but we needed it. So. Oh, I knew we needed something different. I didn't know yeah. this was possible. So now you know I it's was, possible. Either. I was pleasantly surprised by this yeah. show. So, um, shall I even ask what your score is? Well, Ooh. you're gonna have to give Mick a scale so he can blow it out the water. Don't don't give me no um, scale. Don't give, give me no scale. scale. Give him a scale. The the scale is uh, one to five. 100 is not an acceptable answer. Oh, <laughs> Okay, one. five for everyone, every one of them and the series. <laughs> five. That's it. There's five. There's everything. Ooh. Everything. Everything. But you have to have a favorite episode in there somewhere. All of them. I have a favorite <laughs> three episodes. <laughs> All of them. I will give Every this. One of them. I will. I will give this series the rare five. I do not see a way in which it could be improved. It, it was very good. It was Run to say very, she started seventeen very, times. Very good content. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've seen <laughs> Star Wars original eighty four times. How are you counting? Huh? I'm not counting. <laughs> you, I count. Are you I'm counting? Count. I'm I've not seen it every time. Every time it comes on TV, I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm sure I've seen it a dozen times, but I'm not counting. No, I'm counting. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh no. I can't even go backwards and count. Yes, I, I've seen. I've okay, seen the, so, the series is so crazy. I've seen it so much. I can almost take the yeah, words and on everything. Tony I can recommend five. Andor without reservation, even if you haven't seen Star Wars. I'd say this is a good place. Actually, this will ruin you if you watch this first and then expect the rest of the series oh. to be the yes, of Star yes. Wars to be like this. So I'm like, yeah, Star watch Wars, a couple like Star that. Wars and then watch this and be like, oh, I need to be appreciative of what we've been given. Star Wars, <laughs> Star Wars is, is not like five. this. Is, this is, Star Wars is not like this. But it I could be. It, it could be. It's it. I don't have everybody well, now we have a bar. In this show is doing the best work they've ever done you're just like this is this is this is incredible stuff i mean it just yeah this is incredible stuff i mean i think if you want to see this type of writing you're gonna to have to go to the novels you that's the only way if you're starting off with this you got to go to the novels because you go back with mm -mm, you ain't gonna get this did we skip Deidre Miro and all of her mess? <laughs> um, I I think we no. flashed her, but we didn't talk about her. We didn't talk about her. Well, that she, ISB, that, that chick there. Woo. <laughs> she's determined to do something, and she's on the wrong side of history. She yeah, turned that maybe. black dude in the ISB. He, she knocked him out. Knocked him out. Look, it is... A corporate ladder full of Woo. full of knives. <laughs> it's nothing but knives, and you can die quickly. <laughs> you know, I had I had the thought when the uprising happens in Ferrix, and she, she's been saved by the crazy Cyril. guy Cyril. Crazy guy, yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> where is? Are these Palpatine's children or are these Palpatine's <laughs> parents? Like. <laughs> Do they create some kind of crazy something or or what? Because you know she doesn't need anybody. She don't need nobody. She's not. But he tried. He trying her. He he want her. He want her. I want her. He has an obsessive personality. Yes, that is very much the case. Woo! He he crazy. He crazy, y'all. He crazy. 
I mean, he saw the bum go. He tried to go save her. Oh, the bum! I gotta go save. I'm like, you, you crazy. He's got to go save her for the empire. For the empire, <laughs> right? He's he's special. Okay. Any final words about Andor? Brilliant. Can't wait till season two. It, it is a, a superlatively special show. Just, it's incredible. I think they've already started filming season two. They have. Yes, they have. And the rumor is is that the last scene of the second series leads up into Rogue One. I mean, so it's only going to be two seasons? It's going to be two seasons. There's no yeah. need to go. Look, when you've accomplished the goal, there's no need to make any more. Yeah. That's why Watchmen on HBO was one season, and I don't think it was so far my favorite season of anything. And there's no reason to make any more. I yeah. mean, you got it's more stories to tell in the Star Wars universe. You can get away from the, you know, the Skywalkers and the Jedi and all of that because this show sh showed you that just everyday people can fight tyranny. Just everyday people can fight against evil, and there's so many, you know, you know, so many stories out there that you can put together. And it was very happy to show you that evil has a face and it's human. Yes, and it's petty. And it's coming at you, <laughs> and it's cutting. And you didn't have, to, you didn't have to see Palpatine. You didn't have to see the Emperor. He gave the directive and the order, and he had his little people doing it. Boring, but nine people are doing evil. <laughs> and they're doing it casually. They're like, oh, the, uh, they'll know that we're onto them if something goes wrong. So let's just kill the pilot, put him in his chip, and send it down there. Like, right. they killed that man off screen in an aside. They're like, wow, y'all are evil. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, but they the did. one where they were torturing oh, homegirl. Oh, with the screams. And homeboy oh, said, oh, God. yeah, we were testing the screams of dying children, and we found out from our own people that it can it can really hurt you. So we're going to do it to you. I'm like, whoa, what the <laughs> devil? Now check out our mixtape. Leave us a review. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a couple of questions in the comments. Uh, was Cassian more Han Solo than Han Solo as far as him shooting mugs? I mean, Han Solo wishes he had a trigger finger that was so loose. Yeah, yeah. Han Solo was held back by uh, you know by George Lucas. That's all by I got. By the to times, say. I yeah. got. I got to yeah. say, Han Solo got held back. Uh, were you curious to see how Leia connects to this part of the rebellion? Nope. Nope. I'm very happy that there's not a single Skywalker mentioned or shown <laughs> yes. as part of this show. Yes. She comes yep. later. She Man, comes later. I'm just hating on the Skywalker. I'm, don't it. I'm Man, not hating on them. Wrong. They've Look just the had just wrong. excluding them from hours sport. of it's, it's, on. it's one family. If if Star Trek was like this, it'd be horrible. <laughs> yes. <sir>. <sighs> <sighs> It's more stories to tell. It's more stories to tell. Okay. Well, I think that brings us to a close. Sadly, um, sadly. I could talk about this all night, y'all. <laughs> if you have not seen Andor, well, some things have been spoiled. Many. Uh, if, if you have seen Andor, um, go back and watch again. Cause it is a very I'm rich experience. You can definitely beginning. watch it. You can definitely watch it. And download Rogue One. Minute. Rogue One, yeah. yes. Especially the last part when Darth Vader becomes the Darth Vader we we fear. That was excellent. <laughs> yeah, no, he was that was the best Darth Vader. Yes. That yeah. was the Darth Vader we fear. Yeah, yeah. Coming down that hallway. Oh my god. Man, that was, homeboy that just, was he awesome. just dropping people all over the place. And then homeboy on the thing, he was like, he was like, here, here. And he said, uh, let us in, let us in. And then after a while he looked behind, he said, just take it, just take it, just take it. Take it and go. <laughs> Just take it and go, because we're dead right here. We're dead. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Marcus, where can we find you? I don't know. Twitter's slowly dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So while it's on its way out, you can still find me on Twitter at Waterbear Games and at Marcus Ross. Mick, where can yes. we find you? You can find us all over the social webs with me and my lovely wife, Starla, with Our Family Plays Games, trying to bring the joy, black joy especially, for everyone to play board games and have a good time with your family, your friends, and play group and everybody. 
And I was just so happy that the two people on here we've been playing some games with and having a good old time. Black Joy family, Black Joy. <laughs> Uh, the House of Afros Capes and Curls, afroscapescurls.com and all the social media, you'll find it on the website. Um, not sure which we're going to watch next because I'm going to be gone for a minute. <sighs> but um, <clears throat> when I return, uh, Kindred, the series yes. will be starting. Yes. I am excited and also hesitant because it is More my... Scared. Favorite novel, more scared from my favorite author, and more I scared. yes am hopeful but also <sighs> concerned. I'm scared, Jade. I'm scared. They're gonna mess it up, Jade. They're gonna mess it up. No, I don't I, want. Them I to have mess it up. previously used the words cautiously pessimistic for something like that. It's like ooh. <sighs> Please they be gonna good. mess it up, Jade. They gonna Please mess be good. it up. Please be good. I don't want them to mess it up. <laughs> um, I, I don't. I don't want them. A Wrinkle in Time was my favorite childhood novel, and they messed that all up. And at the I end have... of that movie, I cried, and not because. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that, Jade. Don't say that. <laughs> not because it was good. <laughs> I totally agree. I have not read that, and the movie gave me no desire to find out what they oh, did. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> I know. Don't, I know. Don't I know. That's movie. bad. I'm so sorry. Just, just go back and read it. It'll be a quick read, <laughs> and it's a it's an amazing book. Um, do not watch that up, movie. But if I they mess up the Queen movie. Butler's work, I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna be really upset. Well, who's doing it? That's my new question. I'm afraid to look. I'm oh. afraid to look. If they mess up, oh, I, you don't, no, no, y'all don't, I, y'all I don't know. Research. I knew that it was happening. I knew, I, I knew that it was happening, and I don't think I've even seen the trailer. I saw the trailer. I just I stopped because I said I can't, I can't do this. I saw the trailer, and I, I was like, okay, I'm like, okay, okay. Octavia Butler, now they messing with the wrong person. Now they messing yeah. with the wrong person. Rhonda, keep hope alive. I Ugh. am not a coward, so I'm gonna go look. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, <laughs> so while you go do that, um, when Kindred starts, I I do want to talk about Kindred, so <sighs> we, will, we will work out <clears throat> something um, and keep you all. It's going to be a Lovecraft country. Watch and see, y'all. Don't say that already. Don't say that. All right. Have a wonderful week. Um, Take care. We'll see you soon. All right. Bye.